Mastery Paths are a feature inside of Canvas that will allow teachers to determine the content that their students see based on that student's assessment data. It's an excellent option to achieve differentiation in your classroom through Canvas, and we're going to show you how that works in this week's episode of IT Week. So for those of you who have heard of Mastery Pass before, maybe you've gone into Canvas and are having a little bit of a hard time finding where to access them and actually get started creating your own Mastery Path. That's actually because Mastery Path is a feature that needs to be turned on and you can do that directly in your course settings. To turn on Mastery Paths, make sure that you go to your course settings and then under Featured Option, make sure that Mastery Pass is checked on. Once it is checked on, you can then go to back to your modules and then set up a Mastery Pass. So remember, you need to turn on Mastery Pass for every course you teach. Just because you turn it on one for one course does not mean that it's turned on for all of your courses. Now that you have your Mastery Path turned on for your course, now we can build the pathway beginning with a foundational assessment and then the content that's going to fall underneath it. In my playlist module, my first item is a quiz. I'm going to make this my foundational assessment for my Mastery Pass and all my students' pathways will be based off how they score on this particular quiz. To set this up, I'm going to select the gear next to that quiz and select Mastery Pass. I will then see three sections with a range of scores where I can now put what content I want my students to interact with based off how they scored. So my students who scored four out of five on my quiz will interact with one, with one group of assignments, where my students who got two out of five will interact with another group, and my students who got zero out of five will get a, a, a separate set of assignments. To add brand new assignments into my course or into my mastery pass, select the plus sign, and now I can add items that are available inside my course. To add a brand new item, simply select on the item you want to add and select add item. You can add multiple items, checking off more than one at a time. And now when each student clicks on each of these, on, or based off how they score, they will get a separate set of items based off their scores. You can set this up so that instead of students having to do both, they can do OR. I can click on this AND symbol and now make this an OR so that students can do one or the other to complete this section. Once I've done that, I select SAVE and now my Mastery Path is set up. You can also add content pages as a part of your Mastery Path. Simply go to the page that you want to include, go to Edit Mode, and at the very bottom check Allow in Mastery Path. This will allow you to include that in any one of your pathways. And now that you've created your Mastery Paths, the last step is to actually assign the content that you've created to your Mastery Paths group. Once you have included an item to be a part of a pathway inside your module, you're going to want to make sure that that particular assessment is only available for those who are that fall in that pathway. To do that, you're going to go find the item. In this case, we're just going to go find a quiz. We're going to open up the quiz, select Edit, and scroll down to the bottom. And down where it says assign to, we're going to get rid of everyone and we're going to select mastery pass and then select save. Now, only students that fall under the pathway from which this particular quiz falls under will see this quiz. Mastery pass is a great option to let assessment data inform the type of content that we're going to provide to our students. That's going to do it for this week's episode. Make sure you check us out next week for another edition of IT Week.